Chris, this is what you came here for. Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, my number one goal when I was transferring was to get to a team that could make the NCAA tournament. So how's it feel now that you got there? I mean, you knew it was going to happen. Yeah, season, yeah, it feels great. I mean, I'm ecstatic, you know, especially getting to, you know, kind of watch it with my teammates. It was great. You know, they didn't get to play in the NCAA tournament last year. Um, so this is, this is something we've been working for since we met in, in June. What do you think about the seventh seed? What being seeded number seven, is that kind of what you expected? or what? You... Yeah, I mean, that, that seems about uh, what everybody had us predicted to be, so um, can't complain. Have you seen Minnesota at all this year? Washington? I have I have not gotten to watch them. I know they got, uh, you know, obviously they got a good team. Um, they were in the Big Ten, and they got some, some really good players. What's your opinion about you guys, the way you're playing, going in? Like Coach said, you had a tough February. Did you feel like you kind of fought through that? or what you're talking? Yeah, I think we are trending upwards, that's for sure. I mean, our offense has gotten better. Um, our defense is, is still good. So, um, we've lost to some really good teams, but we can't can't let that, you know, rob us of any confidence. You know, we played in the one of the toughest schedules in the country. Chris, I mean, you know you played the, those tough games. When you see all those names start popping up on the one line, the two mm-hmm. line, the three line, I mean, did it make you all realize even more what, what you did this season? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, getting to watch it, uh, every, pretty much every team we lost to was in the tournament except a few, um, and a lot of them were one and two seeds. So uh, it was... It was um, you know, it was a great season for us, getting a chance to play that schedule, and hopefully it'll prepare us for the tournament. How important was that Michigan State game for you guys to really believe that you could, you know, get to this point, to yeah. be a team that good that early in the year? Yeah, that game kind of um, really jump-started our season. It was the first time we uh, really made some noise on a national level. I think they were like a top five or six team in the country at the time. Um, nobody really gave us a chance, but you know we uh, we pulled off a good win, and I think from there we just used it as confidence to show us that we can beat you know the top teams in the country. Uh, Coach Matt changed the rotation a little bit toward the end, using Perry and King a little bit more. Just talk about sort of how you think that's impacted the team, how it's helped. And so yeah, they've been really good for us, Darius and VJ. Um, have been really good for us the past few games. VJ's rebounding. Um, it's, it's really helped us, and, and Darius just, uh, you know, he, he can do things that other players just can't do. You know, he's really good defensively and another playmaker, so they, they've both been really good for us. Do you know Richard Patino? Was your brother here when he was here? I think he was, yeah, but I, I don't know Richard. I've met him maybe once. Is that something the players talked about at all when I came up that you in Minnesota, uh, interesting storyline. Nah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, that's obviously the way people are going to want to try to make the storyline, but really this game is just going to be about the players that are in the game and, and the coaches of the respective teams getting their teams ready for for the game. Uh, you know, we're not going to worry about the storylines or anything like that. Speaking of the players that are in the game, what's your impression so far, you'll learn more about Minnesota, but just what do you think about them? Um, I really, players are town size. Yeah, I, I really don't know a lot about the makeup of their team. I know they got a uh, really good forward, Jordan Murphy, and their point guard is, is really good. Um, so, you know, I, you know, you don't make it to the NCAA tournament by being mediocre. I mean, these are the best teams in the country. They were in a really tough league, so... You know, we'll have the appropriate respect for Minnesota. Things kind of had a hard time offensively, or did have in five or six games, and then the last game seemed to snap out of it. I mean, do you see him getting back to his old self? And Who was that? You see him? Something. Something. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dwayne. Um, he, he, uh, he, he went through a stretch where it uh, seemed like he wasn't playing as well offensively, but... You know, he still did so much for us defensively and rebounding the ball. Um, but here lately, he's been, you know, making threes and being more aggressive. That's what we need from him. We need him to be aggressive and be a playmaker. So 
it was good to see him getting a good rhythm. Kristen, some earlier start time, went about a little after 11 in the morning central time. So how will you help the guys like get up? I mean, it's the tournament game. You'll be up, but is that a challenge at all, getting going that early in the morning? And now, not for the NCAA tournament. <laughs> uh, you know, guys will be guys will be juiced up for that. When I mean, so we've been working for, and we we played you know a few games at, at noon. So, you know, we kind of used to it. Um, I guess you know, in the middle of February, maybe a little bit harder to get up. But for the tournament, we should be fine. Have you ever been to Iowa? I have not been to Iowa. I actually typed it in on my phone to see where it was at. <laughs> but you run for president. You know, they're all out there right now. Really? All the candidates are visiting Iowa right now. I did not know that. <laughs> a lot of your teammates, too, you know, this will be their first time in the NCAA tournament. Is, I mean, how, what is that like that you're all kind of going through this experience together for the first time? I mean, it's great. I mean, God's been so good to us, you know, to our team this year. You know, we've been uh, blessed to not have, you know, a lot of significant injuries, and, and we played a great schedule, and we won 20 games. So this is something we worked for and we earned. But, you know, my teammates, we, we're all excited. This is this was the, the goal we set out at the beginning of the year, and, you know, it feels good to achieve it, but, you know, we, we feel like we can make a lot of noise in this tournament. We're just going to focus on Minnesota, take it one game at a time, but you know, as, a, as a group, we're ecstatic. Is there someone that you're going to reach out to maybe who has been to, played in an NSA tournament before, or maybe you're going to rely on the coaches who have been there before? To kind of yeah, I'll it? probably just lean on my coaches. I mean, they've Coach Mag and Coach Gaudio, that's, that's enough experience between those two. Um, can probably try to prepare me for any situation, but... Uh, I can't think of any particular former player or anything. Anything else? Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.